liked their energy and um, just made, you know, we made things happen out there. I just saw guys playing hard, smiling a little bit more than we have been in a long time, long time. But it was good, good performance. Play, guys played hard, played really hard, played well together. About Marcus trying to do too much, it didn't seem like that was an issue. No, no, he did. He did terrific. He 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 affected the game in a lot of ways, and that's what we need from him. And he because he has that ability. Whatever you do well, we need you to do. And he has the ability to affect the game in a lot of different ways. And he did that. He played uh, the way we've. He's capable of playing. Is it is it possible that it's no more complicated than you just needed to win, Travis? All of a sudden, everything's looking better. No. After no. a seven-game losing streak? No, it was a good win for our basketball team. Good win for our team. Played hard, played well, played together. Marcus and 10 assists, I mean, just talk about that. I mean, this is something different, you know, you got, while he was out that you we, tried to implement everything. We have spent an extensive amount of time the last three days on passing the basketball, moving the basketball. I mean, I've never done as many ball movement drills in my life as we've done in the last three days. And uh, it was good to see these guys go out and execute and do some things we've been working on. Because our offense, we have the ability to play defense. We've been playing defense the last couple of games. We just haven't rewarded ourselves as much as we needed to offensively. And um, I think it starts with sharing the basketball. And uh, it was good to see them sharing the basketball. Coach, you talked about you saw them smiling out there. Was it kind of the most fun you'd seen them have in a long time? Yeah, I did. I mean, for, in a long time, not just last seven games, but for even for them. We, we, I said it before when we were, when we were winning games, we weren't playing well. But I thought we played well tonight, and the guys, you know, played the way they're capable. Of as far as our style of basketball and the way we do scout reports and things we're trying to do, they went out and did it. And they just didn't kind of sit back and wait and hope that the other team made a mistake. They played going forward rather than letting the game come to them. They, we, we were aggressive. And that's what we we've been successful doing that at other times, and we've just gotten away from that for whatever reason. The fun factor, Travis. It's one thing to coach X's and O's. How do you coach having fun? Well, everybody's got to be on the same page. You're not going to have fun if if your team becomes disjointed and everybody kind of starts looking out for themselves and things like that. And that always can mess up a team, and then nobody has fun doing that. Uh, but when your back's against the wall and the only way out is you better come together, and there's no choice, amazing things can happen. And uh, I think we saw a little bit of that tonight. And uh, guys played really, really hard, played together, played together, and they enjoyed playing together. And um, it was good to see. And when you play like that, good things can happen for you. Do you think some of that was just less pressure on certain guys with Marcus back? No, I don't No, No, I just, you know, um, not really. Not really. It was good to have him back because it, 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 there's another guy that can score, a guy that can affect the game in a lot of ways. Yeah, but I thought the guys the last even the last two games have played determined, played very determined, played with a purpose the last two games prior to this one. Played with a purpose, but didn't make enough plays. Didn't make. We just didn't make. We, we had enough. We, hadn't, we we you know even though we're a missing player, we we can figure things out. We. Didn't, know what we're doing, we just didn't make enough plays. Even the guys that were there, we just didn't make enough plays. We put ourselves in position. Uh, we just didn't make enough plays. And yeah, it helps getting a guy that can do the things that Marcus can do, but I don't, um, you know, it, it may give the other guys a little bit of, of a jolt, uh, you know, but uh, I think everybody dug that, not just because Mario, I think they all did a little self-evaluating <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> that may be a better answer to it. I think they all did a little bit of that, maybe. I don't know, but it kind of Seem like a little bit. 21 points off the turnovers. How important is it for, for this team, for the defense, to create those easy opportunities for the offense? It's great when that happens. We're, 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 we're pretty good when those things happen. I think any team would say that, but we've done that in the past. What we've got to understand, though, is when we're not turning teams over, for whatever reason, we still got to be able to execute. We still got to figure out a way to be successful. Um, and um, it's all about ball movement. It's all about defending and rebounding. I thought we rebounded the ball terrific after getting, uh, you know, a tough rebounding game last game. This was good to see that we went out and rebounded the ball against a team that's a good rebounding basketball team, much bigger than us, and rebounded. It hurt us down there in Lubbock on the, on the offensive glass. Guys did a great job of holding them to six offensive rebounds. That's, that's pretty good. 
Scott, if you stop the losing streak now, do you guys have to win out with the schedule provided to get back into the NCAA conversation? No. I would like to win out. It'd be great to win out. But I don't know about that. I don't get caught up into that. We're just worried about Monday, so I don't know. Mm. Phil's playing late. Did he earn a spot in the starting lineup? Yeah, I thought he was playing well. I thought he has been playing well. Um, we like the defensive matchup. We started him on the point guard. That's one of the, because of defensive matchups a little bit. And yeah, he's been playing well and, um, you know, paying attention to details for our scout report and things like that. So, yeah. Was there any concern, though, with Petit? Because obviously that kind of showed with him late in the game earlier this week. Uh, we don't have time to worry about it, to be honest with you. Is it a factor? It could be we're trying to get more guys in there. Um, um, but we don't. We're not gonna. We're not gonna talk. We're not gonna. You know, we're telling. We're we're counseling our guys to get the rest off the court. Make sure they're getting plenty of time because some there's guys who are gonna have to play a lot of minutes. Gonna have to do that. And uh, um, you know, they you need to figure out how to get them some rest within the game, um, but we're not going to make any excuses. They're going to have to play. What about the lift you got from Le LeBron? He seemed really very active around the uh, rim today. Well, that was great. Um, you know, they, they they did a great job on him last game. I don't know if you remember how many deflections they got on him, and they were doubling and digging, and we were ready. We were ready for that. And I think you saw earlier in the game, he made some incredible – we didn't finish the shots, but made some great passes out of the post. It's exactly how we worked on it, exactly what we planned. He did it. Perfectly, and uh, and when you do that, as we told him, if you'll pass out of the post three or four times, and it'll open things up for you. Then they got, then they got, where well, they gonna stop? And he did it to perfection. And uh, even though we didn't convert, they knew we were ready for it, and it opened. I think it opened some things up for him, and he was able to get a little bit of work done down there. He couldn't get anything done. I mean, he had four or five people around him, and he didn't kick it out and fumbling and kicking it everywhere and. Uh, but we worked on it, worked on that individually with him the last three days, and just, and he did it. I, that's what I'm proud of. You can tell them all they want, and they don't do it. I mean, but he did it. He did it. So Travis, good. I've seen teams all over, go through the years, go through a bad stretch, mm -hmm. sometimes a long stretch, and then all of a sudden they snap out of it, and they're either a lot better or they were the team they used to be. Is could that be happening, or could that happen with you guys? I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> I hope. We'll see. Anything else what did you say to uh, Marcus when he came off the court there at the end of the game? Oh, I don't remember. I don't know. What did he say to you? I don't remember. <laughs> he hugged you. You hugged him, but then he hugged you back. Yeah. No, I was just happy the way he played. I'm happy the way he played. Happy the way he played. It's good to see him smile. It's good to see him smile. So I haven't seen that in a while. Travis, sometimes when you step away from the game and you observe the team without you, especially at the point guard position, you can kind of gain perspective, kind of gain some tangible advantages. Did you see any of that with, with Smart being gone for three games? It's a good point. It's a good. I thought you saw a little benefit of that with Markel Brown tonight. He had five assists tonight. Markel himself had 11 points, five assists, had good percentages. And I thought, you know, Markel was having to do so much in three games. I think I, I said I thought it would help him. I thought that would help him a little bit. Um, but I, I think as well, when, when Marcus was out, we had, we, I had mentioned, I talked a lot about it. It was a great time for that team to develop their own identity a little bit. And then when Marcus comes in, hopefully he makes our team that much better. And um, if you've seen us play the last two games, I don't count the Texas games. We had no time to prepare. That was um, – just wasn't a good game, but um, the last two games, I think you said, I think we've played decently. I thought we played hard, okay, and they were coming together and they were figuring things out without. Mark. And then, what I was hoping was Marcus would come back and we would build even on that. We would, all right, and he would help us take that next step. And I think we today we did today. And I don't know about tomorrow, but we did today. I think somebody said it. Not. Only did we win the game. I thought we played well. <laughs> we played. We played the way we're capable of playing. And I told our guys, not like we just taught you something different in the last three days. We know what to do. I mean, we we you get it. And we you know we have won 17 games. 
you, you know what to do. We just got to come together as a team, as a group, every single time. No individual agendas. Come together and play hard and, and make things happen rather than hoping a team misses or, you know, hope that shot goes in. You can't rely on luck. You've got to make your own breaks. And tonight I thought we played going forward rather than just being out there. When Marcus made that play at the end of the first <coughs> half, was that the first sign that you say, hey, Marcus is a Big play. Yeah, it was a big play for us. Big play. We'd gotten a kind of, I think we went up 10 or something the first half, and they caught it. They came back, and we went through a little bit of a scoring drought, which we, we've done. And we got to, you know, that's one of the reasons we've worked on ball movement so much. But him ending the play with four points in five seconds uh, really, I think, got us momentum back. And um, it was good to see him make that hustle play. You know, that's what he's when he's at his best when he makes the unexpected play. And I don't know how many steals he had tonight that led to points on the other end very quickly. But that's when he's playing his best and when he's playing that way, that's the reason he became one of the best players in America, when he's doing those things. And uh, it, uh, I think it energ energizes everybody when he's doing that. I think it, it gets everybody motivated. You referred a couple of times to the individual agendas. What, what are those things that, that you were seeing that were that were causing? It's nothing in particular. I'll be honest. With you. Nothing, you could, I could see it. I could, it it's and it's human nature. It, it happens to teams, and we we were fighting, and I was doing everything in my power. But it happens a little bit. It, it you know, um, and it, it's not. It may not even be self-aware. It may not be intentional to an extent but we just weren't playing together as a team collectively on both ends of the court the way we're capable of playing. And uh, we can sit and evaluate it, and it's a great discussion, and we could – I'd be here all night giving you my thoughts on how we got to this point, you know. And um, But, you know, it, 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 it's it, – it, you go through it, and, but we see when we play collectively on both ends. And, you, know, you look at the 20 assists, and it's great, but defensively on, on – we did some very good things defensively as a team, even though we didn't hold them to extremely low percentages or anything. Uh, but we we executed scout report. We had, if you look back back three months ago, that's all I used to talk about how great a team this was, doing scout reports. We got away from that way before we lost seven guys. I mean, we were seeing it. We we just, you know, for whatever reason, and uh, you know. Today is as I told our team. When you play together and you play hard and you got a little bit of talent out there, then good things can happen. But I don't care how much talent you got. I don't care any, if you don't go out there and play as a team. You don't play hard. You don't play with a purpose. And you know, not in this league. Not in this league. Not going to happen for you. Not in this league. Coach, when the national people had mentioned that maybe this is the most oh, underachieving team in the country, did that sting? Did that? How, how, what was your reaction to those kind of comments? No, it didn't sting. We did lose seven in a row. I mean, I don't. <laughs> I, 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 um, it didn't sting. I kind of expected it. I didn't. Um, <laughs> it's an interesting question. I mean, what? What would you? What? 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 I mean. Well, they had mentioned, you know, preseason, Big 12 champion, top five. And the last couple of weeks they had mentioned that maybe Oklahoma State is underachieving or well, the most underachieving right. team in the country. Do you agree with that assessment at the time? Or do you – did that make you mad? Or how did, how, what was your reaction to that? Maybe mad. Being a competitor, maybe it would Wait. upset you a little bit? No, we. I mean, we. I, I would. I mean, we. There's reasons we got to that point, but we have lost games. I mean, I mean that was a be a normal thing. I think I don't. I mean, I don't. You don't get a reaction. I mean, I mean that. It's a normal. I, I. I would get that. I mean, we did, but there's, there's, how we got to this point, or there's reason, but we can do something about it right now. You asked about making the NCAA tournament. There's things that we can do. Um, but we've had some. Unfortunate things happen. I mean, um, but I don't, I don't, I haven't seen that or heard that, but I would understand how they got to that point. So, no, I'm not shocked. I'm not sitting here saying, oh, you're kidding. Somebody said that. 
No, I, you know, but I understand I've been around this game a long time as a player, my whole life, as a coach, my whole life. I mean, I've been around it. I, I understand how you get to this point. Uh, you don't like it. You hate that you're here. You go, go through that. You can't stand him. You're doing everything in your power and you get, but, but no, I don't. I've been around enough to know they, that they're probably saying I don't disagree. I mean, I, I understand why they would say that. Now, do I like it? I mean, you don't, you want every, you want everything to be great, but I get it. I get it. I'm not just new to that. I get it. So, no, it doesn't, doesn't necessarily surprise me. Not at all if they're saying that. It surprise me, but hopefully we can do something about it. Maybe we can. Maybe we can. Coach, you get a Monday TCU game, last place team in the conference. Kind of sets up kind of nicely for a long, good stretch run at the end there. Just talk about having that time, you know, in between uh, the big Kansas, Kansas State. I don't remember other than ever having these quick turns. When I played in the OVC and every game was Thursday, Saturday, I can't, I mean, every time we turn around, the schedule's been tough. I mean, that's quick turnarounds for our team. We haven't had a whole lot of time to prepare, so this is it's what it is. Um, but TCU plays well at home. We obviously, you know, I do know that. They play well at home. Um, you know, they beat Kansas last year down there in a big win. Um, they've been in a lot of games lately that I've seen. The little point guard's been playing terrific, terrific. He's had 20 points in the first half. I think the last 20 or 19 points in the first half of, like, the last three games or something. One of my coaches was telling me who has a scout. Um, you know, I haven't. It seems like a while since we played them, so and I haven't, I haven't scouted them, or I haven't looked at them. I've spent all my last this whole week on Texas Tech, um, but I do understand the challenges of playing on the road. I understand our basketball team right now. Just because we win today doesn't mean, uh, you know, to me, it, it doesn't mean we're we're back. It doesn't mean oh everything's perfect. It doesn't mean that. It means hey, we saw what we're capable of doing. It's fragile. We understand. If anybody understands how fragile this sports can be or what it can be. It's very fragile. Uh, we can't take anything for granted. Uh, it's going to be a tough, tough basketball game on the road. We, it, you know, a tough game on the road. And we've got to get our guys off their feet. We've got to get them some rest. we got to take a bus down to Dallas and hopefully uh, play together on both ends of the court, play with a sense of urgency and play with a purpose, uh, bottom line. And, uh, but, uh, Got a lot of respect for, for TCU, and you just study their game without looking at the record. You study their game. They've played some really good games of lately. They've played some games. All right, guys. Thank you.